The Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics is a Max Planck Institute, located in Garching, near Munich, Germany. In 1991 the Max Planck Institute for Physics and Astrophysics split up into the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, the Max Planck Institute for Physics and the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics. The Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics was founded as sub-institute in 1963. The scientific activities of the institute are mostly devoted to astrophysics with telescopes orbiting in space. A large amount of the resources are spent for studying black holes in the galaxy and in the remote universe. Topic. History The Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics MPE, was preceded by the Department for Extraterrestrial Physics in the Max Planck Institute for Physics and Astrophysics. This department was established by Professor Remar Lust on October 23, 1961. A Max Planck Senate resolution transformed this department into a sub-institute of the Max Planck Institute for Physics and Astrophysics on May 15, 1963. Professor Lust was appointed director of the institute. Another Senate resolution on March 8, 1991 finally established MPE as an autonomous institute within the Max Planck Gesellschaft. It is dedicated to the experimental and theoretical exploration of the space outside of Earth as well as astrophysical phenomena. Topic. Overview 1961 Foundation of Working Group Lust 1963 Foundation as a sub-institute within the MPI für Physik und Astrophysik, Director R. Lust, Institute moves to Garching, Barrick X1 1964 Partial move from Barrick X1 to MPE Building X2 in February 1965 Official inauguration of the MPE Main Building X2 on February 15, 1965. 1966 Klaus Pinkow becomes scientific member, Cosmic Rays, Gamma Astronomy. 1969 Klaus Pinkow becomes director at the Institute, Gerhard Herendel becomes scientific member, Plasma Physics. 1972 Gerhard Herendel becomes director at the Institute, Remar Lust is elected president of the MPG. On leave from the Institute, Klaus Pinkow becomes acting director. 1975 Joachim Trumper becomes director and scientific member at the Institute X-ray Astronomy. 1981 Founded by J. Trumper, the MPE X-ray test facility, Panther, located in Nareed starts operation. 1981 Klaus Pinkow on leave and becomes director at the IPP, Gamma Astronomy is carried on by Volker Schoenfelder. 1985 Gregor Morfil becomes director and scientific member at the Institute, Theory. 1986 Reinhard Genzel becomes director and scientific member at the Institute, Infrared Astronomy. 1991 Transformation of the MPI for Extraterrestrial Physics into an Autonomous Institute. 1990 Joachim Trumper together with the MPI for Physics MPP founds the Semiconductor Laboratory as a joint project between the MPE and the MPP since 2012 operated by the MPG. 1998 September, start of construction work for the expansion building X5. 2000 R. Genzel together with the University of California Berkeley founds the UCB MPG Center for International Exchange in Astrophysics and Space Science. 2000 G. Morfil together with the IPP founds the Center for Interdisciplinary Plasma Science. SIPS until 2004. 2000 December, official opening of the expansion building X5. 2001 the International Max Planck Research School on Astrophysics IMPRS, is opened by MPE, MPA, ESO, MPP and the Universities of Munich. 
2001 Joachim Trumper retires, Gerhard Herendel retires and joins the International University Bremen as vice president, Gunther Heisinger becomes scientific member and director at the Institute X-ray Astronomy. 2002 Ralph Bender becomes scientific member and director at the Institute Optical and Interpretive Astronomy. 2008 Gunther Heisinger leaves MPE and becomes scientific director at the IPP. The former independent X-ray and gamma-ray departments are merged into the new high-energy astrophysics department. 2010 Kirpal Nandra becomes scientific member and director at the Institute High Energy Astrophysics. 2013 Gregor Morphil retires, part of his plasma crystal group moves to DLR. 2014 Paola Caselli becomes scientific member and director at the Institute Center for Astrochemical Studies. Topic. Detailed history The Max Planck Institute für Extraterrestrische Physik MPE, was preceded by the Department for Extraterrestrial Physics in the Max Planck Institute für Physik und Astrophysik. This department was established by Professor Remar Lust on October 23, 1961. A Max Planck Senate resolution transformed this department into a sub-institute of the Max Planck Institute für Physik und Astrophysik on May 15, 1963. Professor Lust was appointed director of the institute. Another Senate resolution on March 8, 1991, finally established MPE as an autonomous institute within the Max Planck Gesellschaft. It is dedicated to the experimental and theoretical exploration of the space outside of Earth as well as astrophysical phenomena. A continuous reorientation to new, promising fields of research and the appointment of new members ensures steady advancement. Among the 29 employees of the Institute when it was founded in 1963 were nine scientists and one PhD student. Twelve years later in 1975 the number of employees had grown to 180 with 55 scientists and 13 PhD students, and today status 2015, there are some 400 staff, 130 scientists and 75 PhD students. It is noteworthy that permanent positions at the Institute have not increased since 1973 despite its celebrated scientific achievements. The increasingly complex tasks and international obligations have been mainly maintained by staff members with positions having limited duration and funded by external organizations. Because the Institute has assumed a leading position in astronomy internationally, it has attracted guest scientists throughout the world. The number of long-term guests increased from 12 in 1974 to a maximum of 72 in 2000. In recent years MPE has hosted an average of about 50 guest scientists each year. During the early years, the scientific work at the Institute concentrated on the investigation of extraterrestrial plasmas and the magnetosphere of the Earth. This work was performed with measurements of particles and electromagnetic fields as well as a specially developed ion cloud technique using sounding rockets. Another field of research also became important, astrophysical observations of electromagnetic radiation which could not be observed from the surface of the Earth because the wavelengths are such that the radiation is absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. These observations and inferences therefrom are the subject matter of infrared astronomy as well as X-ray and gamma-ray astronomy. In addition to more than 100 rockets, an increasing number of high-altitude balloons up to now more than 50, e.g. HEXA, have been used to carry experiments to high altitudes. Since the 1990s, satellites have become the preferred observation platforms because of their favorable observation time-cost ratio. Nevertheless, high-flying observation airplanes and ground-based telescopes are also used to obtain data, especially for optical and near-infrared observations. New observation techniques using satellites has necessitated the recording, processing and accessible storage of high data fluxes over long periods of time. This demanding task is performed by a data processing group, which has grown quickly in the last decade. Special data centers were established for the large satellite projects. 
Besides the many successes, there have also been disappointments. The malfunctioning of the Ariane carrier rockets on test launches in 1980 and 1996 were particularly bitter setbacks. The satellite, Firewheel, in which many members of the Institute had invested years of work, was lost on May 23, 1980 because of a burning instability in the first stage of the launch rocket. The same fate was to overtake the four satellites of the cluster mission on June 4, 1996 when the first Ariane 5 was launched. This time the disaster was attributed to an error in the rocket's software. The most recent loss was ABRIXAS, an X-ray satellite built by industry under the leadership of MPE. After few hours in orbit, a malfunction of the power system caused the total loss of the satellite. Over the years, however, the history of MPE is primarily a story of scientific successes. Topic. Selected achievements Exploration of the ionosphere and magnetosphere by means of ion clouds 1963 to 1985 The first map of the galactic gamma ray emission greater than 70 MeV as measured with the satellite Cus B 1978 Measurement of the magnetic field of the neutron star Her X1 using the cyclotron line emission balloon experiments 1978 Experimental proof of the reconnection process 1979 The artificial comet AMPTE 1984-85 Numerical simulation of a collision free shock wave 1990 The first map of the X-ray sky as measured with the imaging X-ray telescope on board the ROSAT satellite 1993 First gamma ray sky map in the energy range 3 to 10 MeV as measured with the imaging Compton telescope COMPTEL on board CGRO 1994 The plasma crystal experiment and its successors on the International Space Station 1996 to 2013 The measurement of the element and isotope composition of the solar wind by the Celia's experiment on board the SOHO satellite 1996 the first detection of water molecule lines in an expanding shell of a star using the Fabry-Perot spectrometer on board the ISO satellite 1996. First detection of X-ray emission from comets and planets 1996, 2001. Determining the energy source for ultraluminous infrared galaxies with the satellite ISO 1998. Detection of gamma ray line emission 44T from supernova remnants 1998 Deep observations of the extragalactic X-ray sky with ROSAT, XMM Newton and Chandra and resolving the background radiation into individual sources since 1998 Confirmation that a supermassive black hole resides at the center of our galaxy 2002 Detection of a binary active galactic nucleus in X-rays 2003 Reconstruction of the evolution history of stars in elliptical galaxies 2005 Stellar disks rotating around the black hole in the Andromeda galaxy 2005 Determining the gas content of normal galaxies in the early universe since 2010 Resolving the cosmic infrared background into individual galaxies with Herschel 2011. Topic. Scientific work The Institute was founded in 1963 as a sub-institute of the Max Planck Institute für Physik und Astrophysik and established as an independent institute in 1991. Its main research topics are astronomical observations in spectral regions which are only accessible from space because of the absorbing effects of the Earth's atmosphere, but also instruments on ground-based observatories are used whenever possible. Scientific work is done in four major research areas that are supervised by one of the directors, respectively, optical and interpretive astronomy Bender, infrared and sub-millimeter per millimeter astronomy Genzel, high energy astrophysics Nandra, and in the Center for Astrochemical Studies Caselli. 
Within these areas scientists lead individual experiments and research projects organized in about 25 project teams. The research topics pursued at MPE range from the physics of cosmic plasmas and of stars to the physics and chemistry of interstellar matter, from star formation and nucleosynthesis to extragalactic astrophysics and cosmology. Many experiments of the Max Planck Institute für Extraterrestrial Physik MPE have to be carried out above the dense Earth's atmosphere using aircraft, rockets, satellites and space probes. In the early days experiments were also flown on balloons. To run advanced extraterrestrial physics and state-of-the-art experimental astrophysics, the Institute continues to develop high-tech instrumentation in-house. This includes detectors, spectrometers, and cameras as well as telescopes and complete payloads e ROSAT and, Arisita, and even entire satellites as in case of AMPTE and Equator S. For this purpose the technical and engineering departments are of particular importance for the Institute's research work. Observers and experimenters perform their research work at the Institute in close contact with each other. Their interaction while interpreting observations and propounding new hypotheses underlies the successful progress of the Institute's research projects. At the end of the year 2009 a total of 487 employees were working at the Institute, numbering among them 75 scientists, 95 junior scientists, 45 IMPRS PhD students included, 97 externally funded positions and 64 visiting scientists and interns. The MPE is also active in scientific and vocational training. At the end of 2009 six students were working on their diploma thesis and nine apprentices worked in the administration one, and the institute's workshop eight. Topic. Projects Scientific projects at the MPE are often the efforts of the different research departments to build, maintain, and use experiments and facilities which are needed by the many different scientific research interests at the Institute. Apart from hardware projects, there are also projects that use archival data and are not necessarily connected to a new instrument. The following list is not complete, but it is updated regularly. Topic. Active projects ACE Chandra Cluster Kanaka in ACO ARIS Fermi GLAST Gravity GRON Integral KMOS Lucy LBT MICADO OmegaCam Optima Pan Stars Parsec Rosetta Soho SPIFFI Stereo Swift Wendelstein XMM Newton Topic Past Projects Abrixes Alpha AMPTE Azure Compton Grow Cuz B Equator S EXOSAT Firewheel Germanium arsenide detectors Osta Herschel First Helios Hexa ISO Lisa Mega Mir Hexa PKE Nefedov PK3 Plus PK4 Plasma Lab ROSAT Sampex SMM Sophia Stardust Ulysses Topic Future Projects Under Construction Argos Arisida Hetix proposed projects Athena Euclid Topic Awards 
In the past decades, several scientists at the MPE received international awards for their discoveries and work. The following list contains selected awards, it is updated regularly. Topic. Honorary doctorate for Reinhard Genzel On 8 February 2010, the oldest Dutch university in Leiden bestowed an honorary doctorate on Reinhard Genzel, astrophysicist and director at the MPE, for his groundbreaking research into interstellar matter and the central regions of galaxies, in particular the evidence for a black hole at the center of our own galaxy, and his drive to get the required innovative infrared instrumentation developed. The ceremony took place in the framework of the Lustrum Dies Natalie's 2010 celebration, commemorating the university's foundation in February 1575. Topic. Jean Dominique Cassini Medal for Gerhard Herendel The European Geosciences Union EGU honored Professor Gerhard Herendel by awarding him the Jean Dominique Cassini Medal during the General Assembly from 2 to 7 May 2010 in Vienna, Austria. The award recognizes Herendel's indispensable and prominent role in the European exploration of space. The former director at the MPE also became an honorary member of the EGU. Topic. Yasuo Tanaka honored as Person of Cultural Merit A very high Japanese accolade went to Dr. Yasuo Tanaka, scientific member at the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, who was chosen together with 16 other people for this prestigious award. The high-energy astrophysicist is not only a distinguished member of the global scientific community, he also actively promotes the academic exchange between Japan and foreign countries. Topic. Karl Schwarzschild Medal 2011 for Reinhard Genzel The highest honor for astronomical research in Germany, the Karl Schwarzschild Medal of the German Astronomical Society AG, was awarded to the astrophysicist Reinhard Genzel, director at the MPE. The AG bestows the award to a researcher who made a discovery with wide-reaching consequences. Genzel and teams were able to provide evidence that the center of our Milky Way harbors a black hole. This black hole in the galactic center is the best empirical evidence for the existence of these exotic objects that are postulated in Einstein's general theory of relativity. Topic. James Maxwell Prize for Gregor Morphill The James Clerk Maxwell Prize in Plasma Physics 2011 was awarded to Professor Gregor Morphill, director at the MPE. With the award, the American Physical Society APS recognizes Morphill's pioneering and seminal contributions to the field of dusty plasmas. The bestowal of the award took place at the annual meeting of the Division of Plasma Physics in Salt Lake City in November 2011. Topic. Crawford Prize in Astronomy 2012 for Reinhard Genzel The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences announced on January 19, 2012, that the Crawford Prize in Astronomy 2012 will be jointly awarded to Reinhard Genzel from the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, Garching, and Andrea Ghez from the University of California, Los Angeles, USA for their observations of the stars orbiting the galactic center, indicating the presence of a supermassive black hole. Topic. Academy Professor Prize for Ewine van Dishoek and Peter Hagort 
The Academy Professor Prize of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences KNAW 2012 was awarded to Ewine van Dishoek, Professor in Molecular Astrophysics at Leiden University and External Scientific Member of the MPE and Peter Hagort, Professor of Cognitive Neurosciences at the Radboud University Nijmegen. The prizes, €1 million Euros each, are meant as a lifetime achievement award for scientists that have proven to be at the very top of their discipline. There are two annual prizes, one in the social sciences and humanities, the other in the natural and technical sciences. The awards ceremony is set for June 21, 2012. Topic. Linda Tacconi receives Lancelot Berkeley Prize In January 2012 Linda Tacconi received the Lancelot M. Berkeley, New York Community Trust Prize for Meritorious Work in Astronomy during the annual winter meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Austin, Texas. In her prize lecture, the MPE scientist talked about how powerful millimeter telescopes can probe distant, massive galaxies to reveal that they were indeed rich in molecular gas and therefore formed stars much more rapidly than galaxies today. Topic. Tycho Bra Prize for Reinhard Genzel The European Astronomical Society awarded the 2012 Tycho Brahe Prize to Professor Reinhard Genzel, in recognition of his outstanding contributions to European near-infrared instrumentation and for groundbreaking work in galactic and extragalactic astronomy. Topic. Order of the Rising Sun awarded to Professor Trumper On 29 April 2012, the Japanese Emperor awarded the Order of the Rising Sun, Gold Rays with Neck Ribbon to the German astrophysicist Professor Joachim Trumper. The former MPE director is honored for his outstanding contribution to scientific cooperation between Japan and German and for fostering staff exchanges over the course of many years of work. On 10 July 2012 the Japanese ambassador officially bestowed the order to Trumper in Berlin. Topic. Patricia Shady receives Sofia Kovalevskaya Prize. In August 2012, the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation bestowed the Sofia Kovalevskaya Prize on Patricia Shady, astronomer at the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics MPE. Financed by the Federal Ministry of Education and Research, the prize is awarded by the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation for the scientific achievements of exceptionally promising young scientists and young researchers from abroad to allow them to establish an independent junior research group at research institutions in Germany. Topic. Herschel Medal for Reinhard Genzel At its ordinary meeting, on 10 January 2014, the Royal Astronomical Society announced that Professor Reinhard Genzel of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, Garching, and the University of California, Berkeley, received the Herschel Medal in 2014 for his outstanding contributions to observational astrophysics. Ross President, Professor David Southwood, presented Genzel with the award during the UK National Astronomy Meeting in Portsmouth at the end of June. Topic. Reinhard Genzel becomes member of the Order, Pour le Merit. On 1 June 2014, the Chancellor of the Order, Pour le Merit for Sciences and Arts, Professor Christiane Nusseline Volhard, presented MPE Director Reinhard Genzel officially with the Golden Medal of the Order in the presence of German Federal President Joachim Gauck, who is the patron of the Order. The ceremony took place during the spring meeting of the Order in Berlin. The chapter of the order had voted for Genzel already in autumn 2013 during its meeting in Regensburg.
Topic: <laughs> Order of merit for Reinhard Genzel. On 6 October 2014 at the Schloss Bellevue, German Federal President Joachim Gauck honored Reinhard Genzel and other German citizens with the Order of Merit, for achievements in the political, economic, social or intellectual realm and for all kinds of outstanding services to the nation in the field of social, charitable or philanthropic work. Topic Harvey Prize for Reinhard Genzel On 29 April 2015, Reinhard Genzel received the 2014 Harvey Prize in the field of science and technology from the Technion, the Israel Institute of Technology, in Haifa. The Harvey Prize rewards excellence by recognizing breakthroughs in science and technology and this year is awarded jointly to the director of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, Professor Reinhard Genzel, and the cancer researcher, Professor James P. Allison. Genzel is honored for developing novel astronomical detectors and using them to prove that there resides a supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way. Topic. Albert Einstein World Award of Science for Ewine van Dishoek The World Cultural Council honored Ewine van Dishoek, Professor for Molecular Astrophysics at the Leiden University and external scientific member of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics MPE, with the 2015 Albert Einstein World Award of Science. This prize is awarded to scientists for their outstanding achievements, which bring scientific progress and benefit to mankind. Topic. Roland Deal nominated Fellow of the American Physical Society In its September 2015 meeting, the American Physical Society APS nominated MPE senior scientist Roland Deal for a fellowship. This is recognition of his outstanding contributions to astrophysics, in particular for his observations of gamma-ray radiation from radioactive elements in space, and his pioneering contributions to gamma-ray telescopes and analyzing gamma-ray observations in general. Topic. Joachim Trumper receives Tycho Bra Prize In 2016, the European Astronomical Society honored former MPE director Professor Joachim Trumper with the Tycho Bra Prize in recognition of his visionary development of X-ray instrumentation, from balloon experiments and the discovery of cyclotron lines probing the magnetic field of neutron stars to his leadership and strong scientific involvement in the ROSAT mission. Topic. Expansion building In the autumn of 2000 the new building was finished and occupied after a construction time of slightly over two years. Besides the office and laboratory space there is also a large seminar room with a capacity of approximately 200 people, and several small meeting rooms. It is also the first time in 15 years that all research groups of the Institute are located in one common building. 